one, two, three, four, five beeps. Okay, hello everybody. This is the electric scooter. Okay, we got the problem. Okay, with it. Okay, and if I if I if I turn on the switch, have one. One, two, three, four, five beeps. Okay, and there is problem, electrical problem with this scooter. And let me show you what I found out. Okay, if you are going to notice that, let's say your scooter beeps five times, what you're supposed to check, you're supposed to simply take off the batteries. batteries and supposed to disconnect supposed to disconnect that from here and what I have noticed see this this terminal was very hot and actually get a little bit burned Okay, compare with the others. Okay, more light over here. See, it's burned. The first one from the left side looks like it was overheated. So what I have noticed that I have also burned over here. If we are going to look at the terminal on the the first one from the right side is more open than the other three okay and probably I'm missing the connection over here okay I'm going to test it if this is strong okay guys let me show you what I did because as I showed you as I showed you uh, let me just make sure that the light is okay okay so uh, the, the terminal on the right okay is burned okay so there is problem with the continuity okay there is no connection so what I did I simply use the wires alligator wires and connect all those terminals okay to to the to the motor okay and the the brake like this okay I'm not going to make you know those will spin so just for the test if I'm if I'm correct with my theory right so I said the terminal on the right terminal on the right is burn okay so if I if you see there's kind of uh, hard to make the continuity over here so that's why I just use the wires and let's let me show you what happened okay video as possible just connect those wires okay okay don't make the the motor work so right now I'm going to go to the to the key right and let me turn on this see it's not beeping so if it's not beeping means there is problem with this connector Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do because you know, uh, please notice that uh, the highest current, the highest current goes by the thickest wires. Okay, and see this is the positive, positive wire, this is hot wire, and this one is burned. And so what I'm going to do in order to save the time because you know the person who needs that scooter cannot wait too long. Okay, so because you know he has to move, this is obvious thing. So what I'm going to do right now, uh, you're supposed to realize that, you know, the highest current goes by these two wires. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this, 
this terminal. I'm going to clean it first, okay? And I'm going to move to to one of these terminals, okay? Because uh, as you can see, the, the wires over here are tiny, so not very um, high current goes through, so there will be no problem, okay? And the same thing I'm going to do also with the other one. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it and and also move to the uh, middle terminals. Okay, so uh, what you're supposed to realize that this is easy to, to move, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do right now, I can just, just in order to remember, okay? This is the way how you're supposed to hold it. And this is my first terminal, which is basically, uh, I'm going to write over here, red, red, yellow, we have white and black. Okay, so this is the way how I'm going to to remember, you know, which wire goes where. Okay, so now let me let me remove these wires right now. Remove these wires. It's from here. Okay. Okay, somebody ask, can ask why why I move all of them because it's easier for me to to go reach to those those uh, screws okay so that's why I'm going to just simply move this up and what I'm going to do with the next one I'm going to use tools to cut it don't cut it the wire just you know the insulation over here Cut this insulation. And do the same thing. It would be better if we were to remove all of them, all this plastic out. move this up a little bit and let me open the other one okay this one moves up Got it. So this one is melted a little bit, so we can have problems to move this up. Okay, we got the problem over here. But um, what I'm going to do? Let me just move this back, and we can damage it if we are going to 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 hit this too hard. Okay, so let's take a look what we can do with it. So you can see this is damaged. So, okay, okay, uh, you know, I have difficulties to remove this thing, okay, I could hit this up a little bit, but, you know, I don't know if I'm going to hit this up, I'm not going to damage, damage it even more, and later on, this is going to just, you know, um, have more loose, okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to clean this thing first. Okay, I'm going to use this file and clean it max as I can. As you can see, this is copper.
remove all this burn conductor. What I'm going to do next, because uh, as I said, I cannot remove it, I'm going to switch the wires, okay? So I'm going to use this low power wires over here. Okay, I hope the other side is going to allow me to do so. And the high power I'm going to put over here. Okay, this is the way I'm going to do it. Okay, whoever is going to fix this in the future is going to understand what I did. Okay. So um, in order to make better continuity, right, I'm going to put some solder, solder on it. So, uh, okay guys, my wife is helping me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this, clean it, clean it area right by some solder. And this is going to help. even probably is going to help me to to remove it if this is going to get hurt but I'm not going to move it as well so take a look how it looks like right now it looks kind of good okay so uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, other side okay in the female connector I'm going to clean and I'm going to solder it okay it looks good and I'm going to connect the wires but in different order so I'm going to connect low power wires over here those which go into the uh, brake uh, coil over here and those wires which will go to uh, the motor I'm going to connect over here so I simply going to move the red wire from this place over here and the wire which has to go over here I'm going to move away 
okay why because you know uh, the 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 current which goes through the uh, coil okay in the brake is not so powerful so um, this connector is gonna be okay for it Okay guys, so as I said, I'm going to move my my white wire to the place where I used to have the hot red, okay, so hot, the, the hot wire, and I'm going to move the hot wire to the place where I uh, had my white wire, okay? So now, this is my white, and this is my yellow, okay, I, I used the thermo insulation over here so now I'm going to just connect these wires over here so take the screw Be careful, don't hurt yourself. Okay, so this is my white. Now I'm going to connect another terminal. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is supposed to simply connect it to the yellow wire. looks good okay so two terminals are connected okay make sure that you know that you know uh, this carried piece is going to go up okay it protects you from from pull this out okay and anytime you are going to uh, put uh, the scooter uh, apart okay so So now I can use the looks good. Okay, you can use the uh, insulation tape if you want to, it's okay. It's okay too okay now uh, now I'm going to connect the next one now we're going to connect the hot wire Make sure that you are going to tie it so it's not going to, to have any sparks over here. Okay. Okay guys, as you can see, I connect all the wires, ok, 
Okay, so this is my white, this is my yellow, this is my red, and this is my uh, the ground, right? So uh, I didn't have I didn't have more uh, yellow insulation, and this one a little bit too thick. Okay, so it didn't shrink. So that's why I use these things. Okay, in order to in order to uh, you know just cover this uh, terminal. But you can also use a uh, regular uh, insulation tape. Okay, now we're going to, to attach this over here. Okay, if you are going to do this, okay, because I'm doing this first time in my life, so you can you can uh, make this uh, like a right angle with your wires, okay? So it's going to to be probably be better, but it's okay like that too. Okay, if you are going to make like right angle, it's going to to look a little bit better, but but it's okay. wires together just make sure they're not going to move so this is my brake this is my brake all right so uh, at this moment uh, now we finish with this side okay I'm not going to put the cover yet because I'm going to take care right now about the terminal you know in in the main body of the scooter okay so uh, in uh, my case, I did uh, a little bit more work than I was supposed to because I was supposed to just, you know, change the wires over here, but I tested the brake. And I also had a chance for you to show how to disassemble and assemble all these things together, okay? So I did like some extra work. Okay, so now we have over here screws. So I'm going to just... And uh, I have noticed that we have loose over here, so so uh, maybe it could be the problem why why this is got uh, burn so screwy one. This is another one. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, is the wire is is short in order to pull this out. Okay, so so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open the floor. Okay, and uh, I'm going to get to the uh, controller and disconnect the wires. Disconnect the wires from the controller. Okay, this is my controller. Let me see if I have the light. Okay, the controller because the the wire over here is, is too tight. Okay, so I'm going to to just uh, you know uh, try to disconnect something and make this wire a little bit you know uh, coming out from here. We have to we have to uh, have 
remove these things, okay? Okay, and I'm going to remove the bottom one as well. shoulder Access. I'm going to just disconnect those those wires remember we have red black red black okay it's like positive negative this is motor it's the symbol of the motor over here and this is the symbol of the battery okay we have positive and negative so positive positive is the red okay and the negative is the black what I'm going to do I'm going to just disconnect this one because this wire is the one which goes to to the uh, brake and this is the wire which will go to my motor okay so i'm going to pull this out i'm going to pull this one out okay so now okay what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this okay I, i'm removing battery as well it's going to be easier for me Okay, so I'm going to cut this over here. I'm going to cut this one over here. Okay, so now I can, I can move this wire freely. Let's take, take a look. It's easier for me to pull this wire out. Good enough. Okay, so let's take a look what happens over here. All right, so this is how it goes. like that right goes like that so we have red black red black and we switch the wires okay so on this side white okay we moved white to red and red we move to white let me see this one more time Okay, so we moved, we moved, okay, the one which is next to, okay, was white to this, 
and red to this. So I have to move red next to the ground and this one we have to move over here. So that's basically what I'm going to do right now. Okay, let's see if we can we can remove it. Okay, if we had some difficulties with the previous one, the other one we may have some difficulties with this one as well, but let's see. Be careful, okay, don't hurt yourself. It's easy to easy to hurt yourself. it went okay this is what we got let's take a look see this is burn there was no continuity and that's why you had beeping beep, 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 beep. okay so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to do very similar thing which I did before I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to put some solder on it okay Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. See? There was no continuity over here. And uh, of course, you can buy the brand new one, no problem. But as I said, my friend has to, you know, move. So I can order this. But I don't think I need that. As I said, $40 is no big deal. But let's say if I don't need that, do I have to spend it. As I said, I have no garage. Okay, I tried to fix it in our apartment. Maybe it doesn't look very professional place to do it, but it's going to work. So yeah. See, it was burned. So remember, the very high current goes over here. best as I can and as I said we'll remove the wires we move the wires so high current is not going to go by this one anymore okay, I believe this one is kind of okay and let's do this one This moment basically we're saving the time we're saving forty dollars plus shipping plus tax so approximately fifty some dollars maybe sixty and we're saving the time because some things we can fix we can modify it's all right Whoever is going to fix it in the future is going to know what, what, what have been there. All right. Looks kind of okay. It's not perfect, but I don't know if it's good enough. to do right now I'm going to use my sand iron and I'm going to to solder okay
this is my way to do it. see I covered all those burned spots and you know for no very high current this is gonna be very good terminal okay on the other side could be burned but it doesn't matter okay so let me try and let me put this on the side in order to make it cool down and let me do the second one Somebody is going to ask what will happen if I'm not going to, let's say, solder it. You know, I scratch this a little bit. It could be get corroded a little bit with the time. So the problem can occur. So if I have option to do soldering, I'll do soldering. But if you don't have solder iron, simply just leave it like it is, just clean this up and it's supposed to work. I cannot say that they look like brand new, but they are going to work. So now we have to move the wires. Okay, but this wire is a little bit shorter, but I believe it doesn't matter in this time. Okay, so in order to reach to this uh, this uh, screw, right, I'm going to, of course, you, if you have wrench to open it, this is good, you can use the wrench, but uh, in my case, I don't have the one, okay, that's why I'm going to use this method, okay, so what I'm going to do, right, move it, this in, Okay, and we have reached to this point. Okay, so remember the black will go to the first and this one will go to the, to this place. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to just connect this one over here. The wires are a bit shorter, but I don't think this is going to be a big problem. so uh, just bend it like this one was bended okay so uh, it's supposed to be okay like that tighten it make sure that we're not gonna have any any sparks over here so what I'm going to move this one under okay now we have this one over here. This is the red one. And try to just bend this a little bit. Move it to the right. So, because in this 
this this terminal was uh, overheated so it get bent a little bit so that's why I'm going to to bend it back mm -hmm. okay please notice that this is a uh, burn okay so uh, those um, these formations can can black uh, you know those two uh, you know pieces in order to to close like that so they can hold it and and the circuit could be open so what I'm going to do I'm going to flood them up by using file okay just flood it make sure that this is not going to stop the continuity okay looks flat it feels flat so maybe you are going to be able to to save this forty dollars plus tax plus shipping all right looks good feels good all right so now let's put the first one let's put the second one i found out this is easier to do this way This one is moved a little bit. Okay, so let me see what's the problem. going to use the other piece let's check if this is going to fit so let's check It looks that this is going to work. Let's check. I want to just make sure this is going to fit. 
Okay, I'm going to make the connection right now. Now I'm going to take the meter. Okay. This is my motor. And this is my brake. The brake is functioning. And this is my motor. Motor is functioning as well. Okay, so it means it makes the contact. Okay. So it has to work. Okay, so now I'm going to, to connect the last wire. Okay, as I said, I never did this model before. So it's like something new. But all of them are kind of similar. Okay, before I'm going to close everything, I would like to just check if this is going to work. Just in case. Okay, let me just put this back. not beeping okay it's working so it's working Not beeping. All right. So it looks like we are ready for the dinner. Show one. It's packed like a shrimp burger. Okay, don't don't tie this yet okay because later on we are going to make sure that everything is straight Thank you. 